out to my niggas with the game plan. And shout out to my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 bands, rain dance. We can eat the rain check or we can make plans. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Zest, and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. In today's video, I am going to be showcasing to you guys what I personally believe are the best weapons to use in the Black Ops 4 beta as of right now. Now, uh, this is still the first day of the beta when this video is being made. The level cap is still level 25, so some of the weapons won't be here that may be used in the default classes, something like that. So starting off, the first weapon that I like to use is the GKS. I'm not quite sure what level you unlock this at, at level 9. Now, I've been experimenting with this gun, I've been using different attachments, um, different perk loadouts, just trying to find out what is best. And I personally believe I have found it right now. So what I run on mine is Grip, Extended Mags and Suppressor. The grip to reduce recoil, Extended Mags so you can just spray at people because it does actually take more bullets in this game due to the 150 health that people have. And then the Suppressor so you stay off the minimap. Um, we also have Flat Jacket, Scavenger and Ghost. Uh, flat jacket for nades um, not many people actually run nades so you can maybe swap this out for maybe cold-blooded tactical mask and um, scavenger to replenish ammo so when you're going on that long streaks anything like that and go so you stay off the minimap now you can use this with suppressor or you can take suppressor off take ghost off they kind of overlap each other in a way but yeah i use suppressor and um, just so i stay off the minimap all the time so class number two is the kn57 now this weapon is probably one of the best assault rifles in the game as of right now personally me i like to use the uh, elo site or what is the new elo site quick draw rapid fire and extender mags now you can go with maybe stock if you unlock it, grip if you prefer the reduced recoil, but this weapon doesn't really have men have much recoil, sorry. So I just opt to go with the quick draw. Um like I said, you can go with uh, grip, anything like that. These perks I pretty much use the same perks for all, every class. So all the perks you may as well just keep the same as what I do unless you have a personal preference to go with. But like I said, these are just going to be the five best class helps that I believe uh, you guys should be using to rank up faster, get to the max level. And when new weapons come out, I will potentially make a update on this. So be prepared for that. Class number three is the ICR7. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just a, a prototype or whatever you want to call it of the ICR from Black Ops 3. It's kind of like the Man of War from Black Ops 3, it has a, uh, a high impact, but it does actually have a high rate of fire, which is really decent. So, it kills at about 3-4 bullets, or if you get a headshot. Um, now personally, for me, I like to run the reflex sight. The iron sights are clean, but I prefer to go with the reflex sight, and so far I'm using quick draw and grip. Because they're the only two reasonable attachments that you need. You can get grip too, which reduces recoil even more. Um, you can get long barrel, but I haven't unlocked it yet. This is what I have found to works for me so far. The pistol doesn't really matter. It's just there because... I forgot to take it off, really. <laughs> uh, once again, perks are pretty much the same. I don't know why... Oh wait, that is ghost. Okay, yeah. Perks are all the same. Like I said, the th the three perks is pretty much what I run on every class, and I personally believe that this is the best class at all for the ICR7. And so make sure you guys are using this if you want to pick up some easy kills from far distance uh, and just laser beam kids. Really, the last oh game settings changed. All right, sorry about that, guys. We uh, just got kicked off the servers. Maybe they added level upgrades. I don't know, but. The next class setup is possibly one of the best SMGs within this game, and the good thing about it, you unlock it literally instantly. As soon as you unlock create a class, you unlock this weapon straight away. And this is the MX9, kind of like the vector from Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, high, high rate of fire, sorry, and um, min minimal recoil. 
Now, I like to run the uh, ELO site because the iron sites aren't that clean. I run AP rounds and rapid fire because I don't actually have any other attachments. Maybe when you unlock advanced mags, maybe run that. Maybe laser sight, the hip fire, long barrel. But this is what I've used so far. AP rounds pretty much just damages the body armor that some characters use. And it's really efficient against them, so I just use that. Pistols not really not really important. Full blooded I use on this class, so uh, any like sentry guns, mantises, anything like that I don't get targeted by. And then the last two perks are the exact same. This class I'd recommend using when you first unlock creator class. Like I said, this SMG is possibly one of the best in the mm. game, so I'd recommend it. And then the last class, this is my go-to class as of right now. The Ramper. Mm. This this weapon is just head and shoulders above every other weapon. Mm. Uh, it's actually the remake of the Scar H from BO2, MW3, MW2. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the Scar is. Now, on mine, I like to run Grip, High Caliber, so I get like three or four shots ahead. And AP rounds for the people running the uh, running the body armor. Maybe when I unlock fast mags, I'll uh, I'll maybe throw that on as well. Maybe take out like ghost and uh, my gear, and maybe just run two perks. Um, that's another thing with this class. You may have already noticed I don't run a perk one because I like to play at range with this weapon. It's not really a weapon that you want to be running in at people with. Like I said, I like to play at range, so I like to run mm. scavenger. Uh, for more ammo and dexterity. Dexterity is pretty much needed in this game. As you can mm. read there, your mantle, um, mm. climb and slide and swap your weapons faster, which is just incredible. You also have increased weapon accuracy when jumping on mantling. So pretty much if any of you people like to jump shot, this will give you increased accuracy then. And once again, we have Ghost, you stay off the minimap and uh, so we can go on them long flanks and the enemy don't expect anything. But yeah guys, they are the 5 best class elves I have found so far that work for me. If I find any more, I will be sure to bring them to you guys. But that's going to be it for this video. If you did like this video and it was helpful for you, um, show your support by leaving a like on the mm. video. We are also on the way to 1.4k on my personal channel. So... Uh, not 1.4k, 2k sorry, on my personal channel, so if we could hit that, that would be absolutely insane. If this video did help you in any way, shape or form, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and uh, yeah guys, I've been Zest, enjoy the rest of your day, peace.